As Liv Morgan would say, watch me. And that's what you're going to be able to do soon as she is set to return to Monday Night Raw after her shoulder injury. Welcome back, guys, to the channel. It's Fog Wrestling with a little injury update on Liv Morgan. So... If you care about Liv Morgan, if you care about the women's division, then get excited because Liv Morgan is soon going to be back on television. Cannot wait for this. Not really, but let's just reel it in a wee bit. It is a shoulder injury for Liv Morgan. She's been out a while. Remember, she got injured. Then she went, came back, and then went away injured again. Yeah, I think she came back too soon. I don't know if it was the same injury or whether it was two different injuries, but she was gone for a little bit, then she came back and she was gone again, then she got written out by Rhea Ripley who done a number on her arm with the steel chair and as the referees just watched on and asked Rhea Ripley nicely to stop. Yeah, which was embarrassing. Which is always helpful for the referees. I mean, this ain't a Liv Morgan problem. I think the, the women's <laughs> division is just at an all time low. In terms of recent years, I just don't think there's nothing about it, especially the main roster. You've got Charlotte Flair challenging an absolute jobber in Iowa Sky for the 15th time. Becky Lynch taking on Indy Hartwell on Raw for the NXT Championship. This is the same Indy Hartwell that not that long ago got promoted, got drafted from NXT to Raw while she was injured, which made zero fucking sense. And then she done absolutely nothing on Raw and she's been drafted back down to NXT. I yeah. like, what is the point? Yeah, well, no, what is the point? And also, you know, you had Trish Stratus come back for a pretty long run, and it was shit. I mean, all, all right, decent steel cage match at the end, but let's be real, the segments were awful, and I think women's wrestling's pretty dire these days. Not that it was ever great, but I think it's probably... Well, give me women's wrestling in 2000s over this crap. What I will say is I think TNA did a good job of the women's division in the early days of the knockouts, but that's going to fail when TNA returns in 2024. However, that's not what we're here to talk about. Oh, no, no, I mean, TNA had Mickey James against Trinity. Uh, who cares? Two fucking bums. No, they are, they are two bums, but realistically, I mean, is Trinity and Mickey James really a step below Liv Morgan? No, of course or not. No, I mean, Trinity and Mickey James can probably match any. It's, it's way. It's, in terms of star power and credibility, it's way better than anything AEW can do. And it, it's pretty close to anything that WWE can do. But my point is, like, no, but no one cares about women's right. No one wants to watch 20 minute women's matches where they try and wrestle like men and it's just no one's interested in that apart just outright geeks that uh, are you know massively into the the wrestling but the average fan doesn't want to see women have hardcore matches like i mean maybe once in a blue moon it was all right like when victoria took on trish in a hardcore match it was fine but if, if you were getting that every pay-per-view it's like you wouldn't fucking want that i don't want to see them in hell in a cell i don't want to see them in an elim elimination chamber and i sure as hell don't think they need their own royal rumble I mean, maybe if you did it as a one-off, but every single year, absolutely not. It's the same shit, same faces, same elimination, same bump, same spot, same everything. Anyway, Raquel Rodriguez says that Liv Morgan will be back soon. This is what she said to DailyNews.com. Quote, yeah, I've talked to Liv. She's doing great. She's really recovering well. She's in very good spirits. And of course, she's very, very anxious to come back. I don't have a specific date. Of when she'll be back, we're all waiting for her. I know I miss her terribly, so I'm very excited for that. But I feel like the time has been flying, and she's just been on it, on her recovery. So I would assume she'd be back sooner rather than later, and probably before any of us can really imagine. End of quote. And holy shit, when did Raquel Rodriguez turn into Dave Meltzer? Because that was a bunch of mumbo jumbo. She'll be back soon, but I don't really know the date, but I hope it is really soon. Because I'm missing her. It's before anyone can really imagine, but hey, think about it too, buddy. Well, what if we imagine it's tonight? Then we're wrong. Unless it is tonight, who knows? Could it be Liv... Just Liv Morgan, it just has... It doesn't have the same appeal. Liv Morgan, like, returning, it's not going to blow your mind, is it? No, it won't. It's just so stagnant, though, the women's division, isn't it? I mean, like I said, I mean, you just get the same faces for, like, six years ago. People marking it. Well, I don't even know what Bailey's crew's called, but they're... they're damage all... control. And they've done a lot of damage. They're horrendous. And I just don't really view Liv Morgan as a main offender in, in the women's division. Like, I know she won the world title, but... She wasn't really credible. I mean, she lost it back to Ronda Rousey after a series of shit matches. I, don't, I just don't really see Liv Morgan. Just because you win a world title, for me, doesn't mean you're a main offender. 
No. It almost does, I think, in the, the men's division, I think, because there's more men, therefore, if you can get near a world, if you can get your hands on a world title, the likelihood is you probably are a main offender. But I just think with the women's division, it's so shallow. They give it to everybody as that, well. Yeah, it's more like a, a who's no had it yet? Put your hands up if you know how to shot Put in your the belt. hands up. I mean, so, yeah, nah, for me, Liv Morgan, I don't really care. I don't care. Uh, I guarantee, I mean, there'll be a lot of simps probably out there that care. I mean, it do, it's not going to do anything. It's not going to change anything. I mean, I don't think it makes, I don't think it makes the women's division worse. But I can't sit here and say it makes it better. Or I can't sit here and say it makes it way better. I mean, is there worse people in the roster? Absolutely. You know, we could talk about men and, and uh, oh, yeah, they need to bring through the new generation like uh, Camilo Hayes and Bron Breaker and LA Knight. Oh, I know he's old, but he's new to the scene. But see, the women's defeat, there's so many people they could just get rid of and promote these yeah, NXT sort of, stars. I, I think WWE going forward would be better just bringing up NXT people and giving them a chance. They're, like there are these women that have been on the roster now for like seven, eight years. It's like where, where are they going? I mean, Carmella, I think, is the biggest example. She's thirty-five. Her gimmick is the most beautiful woman in WWE. Yet on, on NXT, it's like they're they're producing all these like you know women that are like 10, 15 years younger than her. It's a, it's a bit of a dumb gimmick. I mean, you look at I always say it every fed, but fuck, Trish and Lita retired at thirty-one. That's all you need to know. So. Instead of, who cares about Liv Morgan? I would just bring up people for NXT, but, I mean, whatever. Liv Morgan coming back for injury, she's kind of at the level of a... I mean, who in, who's she comparable to in the men's division? Like a Nakamura, maybe? Aye. Aye, that guy, like a... Aye. Someone that gets the odd title shot, but just isn't really... Aye, like a Balor? Aye, I mean, Balor, Nakamura. See if those two disappeared, I couldn't care less, and couldn't really care for Liv Morgan. What Impact 2020... Or TNA, sorry. TNA 2024. I think t a TNA video is coming soon. Ten reasons why TNA is going to suck. Well, I've only did ten reasons why. T well, ten reasons. No, ten superstars that should return to TNA. Sting. Sting should go back. I already talked about it earlier, but why would he retire in AEW? Go back to where it began the second time. TNA. I think so. <laughs> Absolutely. He's in the Hall of Fame, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, I put the Hardys on the list. I put fucking uh, AJ Styles on the list. AJ's doing nothing, Dowd Arby. Like, what's he, why not go back to TNA for, like, a decent two years? See if they all went back, it'd be good. Yeah, I mean... I put Devon on the list, Bubba Ray's there, I mean, fuck it, come on, bring everybody, Jeff Jarrett, he's, give him another title reign. Well, what's Jeff Jarrett doing in AEW? Hee-haw. Bring back yeah. the, the Jarrett reign of doom. Jay Lethal, why not go back? Uh, bring back... Why can't we have Flair managing... No, why can't we have Ric Flair managing Jay Lethal? We're pretty much spoilt everybody on this list. I mean, I think I've actually mentioned nine names out of the ten that I include it. And also, let's just throw the 10th name in there. Hulk Hogan, I put him in. He killed it once, he can kill it again, bro. Anyway, Liv Morgan, well, if she turns up and draws SmackDown NXT, the Impact, Dynamite, yeah. don't really care. Until next time, though. Peace.